welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the Hummel, the Tier 6 German SPG. This one's located on the northeast corner of Westfield. And it's under the command of Talon 1958. And this is his subsequent submission for the Weekend Lion competition. Yes, Angelina's in the lead at the moment. And he's got to try and beat her. Game on. Well, as usual, he's got the stock howitzer, the same howitzer that's on the Griller, the Tier 5 German SPG, because it's much more accurate, it's got a faster reload, you get more shells, the, the only problem is it doesn't uh, have as much range as the Top Gun, which is also a 15 centimeter, and of course it doesn't do as much in the way of Alpha, it's 480 Alpha for this howitzer, the other one does 600. But it's much more preferable to have this one, mainly down to the fact that, of course, it's got a much better trajectory as well. The shell almost, well, it's going much higher, and as a consequence, it's able to hit targets that are hiding behind objects. M6, rounds out. Direct hit with his first shot. He got 234, and he then got stun assist, and the target's gone down. He was taken out by the M44. Two RT EVA team. We've got the Hummel and an M44. The enemy team has also got a Hummel and an M44. Okay. Next target's a Dicamax. Very thin armor. Oh, now it missed. You don't often see Talon miss, but he missed because the Dicamax was actually moving sideways at the time. And consequently, he didn't get a great hit because he was hoping that that Dicamax would actually uh, stop moving, or at least the shell would hit his side. That one hit, and that was a penetrating shot. The Dicamax does not have a lot of armor, which makes it a perfect shot for Artie. And he's gone down. He was taken out by the M6 on Artie. Okay, that's the same Dicamax he fired at before. And he's down to two hit points now. Rounds out. This time he got him. So he's got a kill at last. And it was that ticker max. <clears throat> now, in the last game that Angelina sent in, or rather the game where she was successful, she managed to get a second class a bruise medal and a fairly high win eight, over 2,000. So Talon's got a lot to do to catch up. He landed the shell in front of the T-150. But he's still got 39 hit points of damage and he might get some stun assist if he gets hit in the meantime, but doesn't look like it. Going for the T-150 again. You work with what you can. Oh, he just got hit by the M44. So the M44 will like it if this shell lands on him. Actually, he only got a critical hit, so he damaged the track. If that shell had landed on the T-150, the M44 would have got some stun assist off that. Oh, enemy RT coming this way. And he misses us. I think he was going for the Cromwell, actually. The Cromwell's nearby. He might have seen Talon's chaser. But Talon is chasing his team now because they're getting so good. They've actually managed to push the enemy off the hill. Okay, we've got an Excalibur at the hill edge. Or the valley edge, I should say. He's dialing in to get fully... On target, rounds out. Direct hit! And a kill! And that's his second kill of the game. He's up to 1,022 stun assists so far, and that's certainly going to help bump up his score if he needs to get at least a second class mastery at the very least. Otherwise, he's not going to beat Angelina. Okay, he stopped to take a shot because, unfortunately, we just lost the M44. Now, he was lost in battle. I wonder what actually happened there. But it appears to be this poodle that caused that. Let's see what happens. Rounds out. Well, the shell landed behind the poodle, but he managed to get behind the rock in time. And all he did was get stunned. But he's hiding there in that corner because he doesn't get, want to get shot by the Cromwell. Cromwell's just above him on the valley edge. Now, if Talon can put a round in there, that poodle's going to suffer. Rounds out. He got some stun, but he didn't get a 
hit. Oh, he got some stun assist. The Cromwell hit him. And in fact, an enemy Cromwell has turned up below our Cromwell. And they're duking it out. And yeah, we just lost our Cromwell. So we do need to get out of here now. Because otherwise, that Cromwell is going to come after us. We're only one tank up on the enemy. The enemy team's lost their RT. And our team are capping at the moment. Okay, we do have some tanks nearby that we could aim at. Our Jagdpanzer Fear is moving into a position where he might be able to intercept the enemy Cromwell if he comes in this direction. Okay, we've got a T-37 and a Rudy, a Polish Rudy. He's gone to the aim. There's the road, Polish road, Polish Rudy. We just managed to uh, lose our uh, Cromwell to their T-37. And now the score is even, but we are capping. And I think the enemy's left it too late. I don't think they're going to be able to get our team or get a reset before the game over. Okay, we're dialing in on this Cromwell. Might be the last shot we get a chance to fire. Rounds out. Direct hit in his face for 163. And they've capped out. Here's the end of battle stats, and that was the second class tanker for Talon 1958 in the Hummel. He got a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, it shows he has three, but he must have got five in order to get the bruise medal because you can't get it with at least five. And he also got a win eight of 1,714, but sadly, that is not enough to give him the lead. Yes, I'm afraid not, because if you look at uh, Angelina's score, Hers was a second class, a bruiser, and a win eight of 2,065. And that's higher than Talon's, which means Angelina is still in the lead for this week's competition. Now, let's have a look at the scores. The highest damage in the game actually went to the Jagdpanzer Fear on the enemy team. Got 2,059 hit points of damage. Second highest damage was RM6 with 1,642. And the third, well, the third highest damage in the game actually went to the Poodle on the enemy team with 1,456. Uh, we can see that Talon got 1,020, which is fourth highest damage on his own team. But there were four higher tanks or four tanks with higher damage on the enemy team, which actually puts him in eighth place overall on damage. When it came to kills... He's actually enjoyed second place because the Jagdpanzer Fear on our own team got three kills. So did the T-37 and the Type 58 on the enemy team. So they were the top scorers. And two kills went to Talon and to the Jagdpanzer Fear and Poodle on the enemy team. When it came to base XP, it was the M6 who did the best with 732. Talon managed to get 693. And the third place player was the Jagdpanzer Fear with 585. He fired 11 rounds, which is about average for a normal game. But, of course, this one did end early because, of course, there was a cap out. Five direct hits on the enemy, two penetrating shots. Let's have a quick look and see which ones did he penetrate. I think he penetrated the Dickamax. No, not that one, but he did penetrate the other Dickamax for 494 hit points. And I suspect that he probably penetrated one of the other vehicles. I'm wondering if it's the Excalibur. Yes, it was. The shell landed right on his roof for 88 hit points, but it did go straight through, and that was the end of his game. He also got eight splashes, damage of 1,020, all of it at more than 300 meters. Damage six of the enemy, killed two, so he didn't get close to a Confederate, well, a little way away. And 1,159 hit points of stun assist off six tons. He earned 84,776 credits on a premium count, he got 30 bonds for a mission achievement and 2,079 experience points altogether. But the main thing of this game is that he did use his P to stay alive. He actually used his S, his W key, actually, to move the hell out of Dodge when the enemy were coming after him. Because, of course, they had captured our cap area. And our M44 did not move out. And, of course, he got killed by the Cromwell. Uh, or by the Poodle, rather. Uh, or rather, he crashed, according to the... Uh, sign it says that he crashed but the fact of the matter is that i think he died simply because he didn't move and of course talon needed to get closer to the enemy but he also was aware of what was going on behind him he looked at his mini map and he decided to move closer to the north end of the map 
to make sure that he was far enough away from the enemy that he could still attack them and was still in the game. And of course, you saw his last shot hit the Cromwell right in the face and he picked up an extra 163 hit points from that one. So a decent game, but sadly not enough for him to take the lead. So he's going to have to go away, play again and see if he can come up with something better. Hopefully something like an ace tanker. That would be quite well. I'm, so I certainly would suggest that maybe he tries a different RT each time. And maybe that will actually help him to get the ace tanker. Because I'm sure there's an RT out there that might be able to help him. Such as um, moving up to the M53, M55. Or maybe going to the 212A. Or trying any of the RTs in between. Because I'm sure that he will be able to get an ace tanker. If you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.